The Owen James Report is brought to you by Come into NCB and talk to us. Let's work together to put your best life forward. NCB understands that in these tough economic times, it may be difficult to stay on top of your finances. If you're concerned about your ability to meet your monthly loan or credit card commitments, we would like to help. Let's work with you to improve your current financial situation with practical solutions like debt consolidation or debt restructuring to review your monthly commitments. Come into NCB and talk to us. Let's work together to put your best life forward. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. Despite a one-off loss of $215.5 million associated with the National Debt Exchange, the Grace Canada Group is reporting first quarter net profit of $690 million, or 6% better than the corresponding period last year. Unaudited group results showed first quarter revenue growing by $466 million or 3% to over $16 billion. Grace Canada Group's CEO Don Webby describes the fairly good results as stemming from focused team effort, particularly in the group's overseas companies, which he says are doing extremely well. Webby told the OJR that the overseas company's contribution of 37% to group profits was a main buffer to the deleterious impact of the national debt exchange. The Grace Kennedy CEO says the North American expansion plan continues on target, adding that more listings had been gained in top retail chains in the United Kingdom. He also noted that the focus on the Dutch and German markets was bearing fruit. On the foreign exchange market, the benchmark American dollar strengthened by two Jamaican cents to close at an average selling rate of $99.05. However, the Canadian dollar held firm at $98.58, whilst the sterling weakened by 14 Jamaican cents, closing at $153.52. News on the market now and gains by Scotia Group, Scotia Investments and Proven Investments helped to stimulate the market today, resulting in gains by all the indices. The main JC index advanced by almost 494 points or three-fifths of 1%. 23 stocks traded with 11 advancing, 4 declining and 8 holding firm. Now finally, COK Sodality Co-op Credit Union, the island's largest, suffered a net loss of $133 million last year. Addressing credit union members at COK's annual general meeting last night, Treasurer Christopher Robinson explained the main reasons for this negative outturn. From up standpoint, the losses were primarily due to our inability to trade some government of Jamaica bonds which we hold, thereby we, we did not realize about $40 million of gains which we had planned for. We have spoken about the debt recovery process and we had planned to recover about approximately $95 million, but we only were able to recover about 34. However, despite COK's lukewarm overall results, the shining light was the loans portfolio as the credit union disbursed loans totaling nearly $3 billion or 97% of what was budgeted. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Come into NCB and talk to us. Let's work together to put your best life forward.